Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing really well. In tonight's video, we're doing two beers. Two beers or one video, and it's a bit of a citra battle between two breweries. So we've got Salt Citra New England IPA Junior, a juicy 4.3% and hazy beer, and it is literally called Citra. The lovely typical artwork that you'd expect to see from Salt with the honeycomb and a nice green can so that's the first one we're going to be looking at or we're going to be looking at two and then the other one is from Arba who I think are a great brewery so are a great brewery as well and another green can and this is their Citra Parallel this one comes in at 4.7% ABV the salt comes in at 4.3% ABV so they're both you know label themselves as Citra so let's do a green can and Citra battle between the two and see which one I think is best and if you have had both tell me which one you think is best so there they are you can see them nice and clearly so let's get the salt out into a glass we'll have a look at them both have a look at their aroma or I'll have a sniff of their aroma and see how they taste uh, these both came from Sainsbury's. Both came in at three pounds as well. It's nice to see Arbor in a supermarket. Arbor make great beers. And we all know that salt can make some cracking beers as well. So we'll pop that back on there for you. So yeah, the salt citra is in that glass. Let's get the Arbor out as well. Oh, that's not good. Oh, don't you hate that when you pull the ring pull and the ring pull snaps but it hasn't pushed <laughs> hasn't pushed oh there we go that part in there we go push it in with my finger try not to cut myself good job that went in otherwise we'd have been in issues wouldn't we so let's get this one out We'll see if we can get this done in under 10 minutes for the pair as well. So there we go. Let's pop that on there. Let's turn that. Hopefully you can see both of those. So on the right hand side or my right hand side, we've got the Salt New England IPA Citra Junior. And in the left side, we've got the Arbor Seabomb. And they do look different. And I didn't turn the light on in here. Uh, just really poor planning of me. I'm going to turn the light on. Hopefully we'll be able to see a bit clearer <laughs> as well. It'll only take me a second. Actually don't think that made any real difference. I'm not going to try and edit that out. We just keep rolling. Uh, so there's the salt and there's the arbor. And to me, I don't know how well they show up, but there is a different color in the in the two of them. The Arbor's got more of an, an orangey sort of look to it with a nice head that's hanging around. That has got more, is a much lighter color, almost grapefruit juice color with a head that's just hanging on, a tiny little head hanging on. But for two Citra beers, quite different in color. Hope that shows up on camera. So let's have a sniff of the salt. It's not a punchy aroma, not punchy by any means, but it is there. It's got the, the citra hops types aromas that you'd expect. It's got a nice sweetness to it, a citrus sweetness. Mango and grapefruit are in there. Um, they're not massively punchy, but I like the sweetness. I like that sweet grapefruit lemony citrus that's going on. That's quite a nice aroma. It's just not super punchy. So let's have a look at the Arbor Sea Bomb which is head starting to go now, uh, but it's still hanging on to it a little bit. Very, very similar in aroma, really, really similar. Again, not punchy. Again, it's got the sweetness, the sweet citrus aroma to it. A bit more grapefruit heavy than that one, than the salt. And yeah, it's got the, the mango type feel to it as well. A bit more grapefruit heavy, I'd say, on the Arbor. So let's see how the salt beer tastes. Let's have a go. Cheers. Can 
but that's got quite an orangey taste, which is unusual for Citra to get orange straight off the bat. Feels very thin, flavor doesn't hang around. And this one, yeah, it's the 4.3%, isn't it? Does feel very thin. It does feel like a 4.3% beer. It's quite nice, it's refreshing, it doesn't blow me away. Uh, flavour wise is really muted, I've got a very slight bitterness at the back but it's really really slight. Front, you get, a, a, you get the little bit of sweetness on the front and in the middle you, you've certainly got the, the grapefruit, that's in there. Not getting as much on the mango, it does feel more citrus, it does feel grapefruit citrus, lemon lime type citrus no real sort of mango that you can get with citra hops. It, it, it just feels a bit thin, it feels a bit, it's lacking, but it is only 4.3%. It's refreshing, it's drinkable, certainly not mind blowing. So, pardon me, nice carbonation, <coughs> pardon me. Let's have a look at the Arbor, C-bomb is what it was called. I didn't say what it was called, did I? It's called C-bomb. Everyone loves dropping a C-bomb. Uh, so let's have a try of this one. Let's just try and clear the mouth a little bit. But it's certainly got a much better look to it. I know this is 4.7%. It was 4.7, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's got a better look to it than the salt. So let's see how this one goes. Cheers again, everyone. What do I say? What do I say? Got quite a crisp mouthfeel to it. Crisp. Um, again, a very, very gentle bitterness on the back. A bit like the salts. Um, it's 4.7%. It has got a slightly better mouthfeel than the 4.3% salt. Without a doubt, it's got a better mouthfeel. Again, good carbonation levels. <laughs> Flavor-wise, uh, I've, I've had way better from Arbor. Arbor makes some great stuff. Uh, th this is, it's okay. Nice sweet citrus. Again, the grapefruit. Do pick out a bit more of the mango and it's almost got a lychee type feel to it. It's got more going on flavor-wise than the salts. Um, I don't know, maybe I've drunk too many of these types of beers recently, but this isn't, it isn't spectacular, but it is, it's all right. It does feel a bit watery. Let's try the salt again. There is a winner for me. It is the Arbor Sea Bomb. The Arbor Sea Bomb does win. It's just got a bit more vibrancy to it, if that's the right word. It's a good word, vibrancy. We'll go with that. Uh, it's got more vibrancy to it than the salt one. A bit more on the flavour front. Okay, we're at 4.7. The other one's at 4.3. They're, they're not poles apart in terms of ABB. ABB? ABV. Um, but yeah, the Citra, the Sea Bomb, it's just got a bit more going on. Would I recommend either of them? It's just another Citra Pale Ale, is what that is. They're both just what they are. They're Citra Pale Ales. Um, are they better? Probably. I know there are. Um, but they are in a supermarket. They are three quid. They are now readily available. Would I recommend them? Why not? Why not? They are refreshing. They are both okay. The Arbor's much better than than the salt. Um, probably a good entry beer actually. If you're new to craft beer and you're just starting to explore craft beers then these are probably actually a really good entry level to start building your palate of getting used to those citra type hops. So in that sense they're probably really good for that. Good entry level but if you're used to big ABV 
Citras and big A ABV New England IPAs, etc. Uh, this is going to feel like a bit of a come down for you. But they're all right. They're refreshing, probably decent around the barbecue because they're low ABV, easily sessionable beers. So they've got a place, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, they're just okay. And that's me. I'm done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye now.